So here's an example of how I made a little oscilloscope probe holder. Um, for the This is for the PicoScope probe, although you could make it to work with others. So the key part of this is, um, this is actually a dial test indicator that you can get for like 10 to $15 often. Um, it's designed to hold this for doing uh, measurements and whatnot in mechanical systems, but we're just going to use it to hold a probe. So it has a magnetic base part here, um, so you can see that you can enable the magnet, which we don't actually care about. You'd use this to stick it to a uh, milling machine or something, but we just use it as a heavy base. Um, and the other part of this is going to be a little piece of something to hold our scope probe. So I've made this out of a plastic material. Um, and you can see basically the key part is that I have a cutout here that can hold the probe. You know, you can make this with a drill press if you need it, even in wood. Um, and then there's a hole drilled through it that'll let me pull these two sides together. And on this side, I've drilled a hole that'll just friction fit over there. The hole's a tiny bit too small, and then it's just slotted up the side. Um, that was just with a hacksaw. So on this thing here, I'll just move my camera down so you can see better. Okay. So all we'll do is push this on. Like so device here. Um, I'll get a test board, so I just grabbed Raspberry Pi as an example. And our oscilloscope probe, so these are the PicoScope 6000 probes. I'm using these in particular, again, the spring-loaded tip is really convenient. Um, let's move all this so it doesn't interfere too much. Right, so this size here is designed so that that's sort of a nice friction fit in. Um, and to secure it, I just used two parts that I took off. Uh, there was originally a holder on this for the dial test indicator, so I just removed that and use this and apply just a tiny, tiny bit of pressure. Uh, you might want to rubberize this. You could also 3D print this part, of course, if you wanted you don't have milling machine type thing. Um, one other cool feature we'll use on this little device here is they have this knob and when you turn it what you see is that it's actually moving the end up or down just a tiny tiny bit at a time. Um, so we can use that to adjust the type of uh, pressure we apply. Alright so look closely here. What I'll do is I'll just loosen lo loosen the main weird how you can see you can't really see everything. Uh, but if I loosen the main knob here, I now can adjust this as needed. So I'll get it close but not quite touching the surface yet. Tighten this up. So you can see that the probe isn't actually contacting. Um, it is close, and then I'm going to use that additional fine adjustment just to bring it sort of to the point that it starts to compress the needle a bit. I don't actually bother trying to get this precise, hitting the right point, because all I'm going to do is just move the board and the probe. And you would probably want to do this under a microscope. Um, to hit the exact point I want. And there you go. So there's a really cheap and easy probe holder uh, you can build with one of these magnetic base devices and then just making a little adapter to hold your picoscope or other probe.